On today's video, I get all of the security clearances to film at LAX, rush to get the car finished, built out, and dropped off in LA at Customs, spend a few days homeless in the back of the rental car, and on the day that the car is supposed to ship off on the airplane, everything comes to a screeching halt. Previously on Six Wheel Garage. It's time to give up. And I feel like I've become a slave to this car. Yeah, man, check it out. You want a cold one? Oh, and as if this isn't bad enough to be working on this thing, on the day we're leaving, my buddy's house has no power. So I'm getting all this ready in hopes that the power will come back on. I called the power company, they said by 2.30, the power will be back on. It's currently one, no, 2.15 now, so we'll see. Well, if you guys heard that sound a few minutes ago, that is ball bearings. Dozens and dozens of ball bearings. Uh, this slide, which I'm about to weld on the front so it can't slide off the back, was able to slide off the back because the tape broke when I picked it up. So all the ball bearings shot out and shot all over the freaking garage. Ugh, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Good Lord. I scratched the hell out of the car getting that thing out because it's so damn heavy. All right, for those of you guys who are staying tuned on this, these are the little ball bearings. Now, to pick them up out of the cracks in the concrete, I used this little magnetic screwdriver extension thing. Then, I got the ball bearing stuck in here. So I took another 10 minutes to get the ball bearing un stuck from this goddamn thing and then when it finally popped out I tried to get it in the drawer it was the only way I could get it out to not ruin this thing and the ball bearing popped into the leg little setup of the drill press and is forever gone indefinitely so yeah power still not on Go ahead and bring this, look at that bent ass frame. God, let's bring this thing over. I'm gonna get that crossbar all ready to go, figure out how that's gonna weld on. That'll be the first thing I do. Look at this, it's so bowed out. I can't get through all the way with the bands on this one, waiting the power to come on. So I just cut this part of the way, cut this part of the way, clamp it up, I'm just gonna bend it back and forth until it cracks, and then I'll clean that up. This aluminum fatigues and cracks really easily. This is just to hold the batteries where I can put some nuts, squish them tight into this tray. Proper flip flops. Oh. 
close. Let's take the bandsaw and clean that up. This video is brought to you by smash that subscribe button. And when you're done with that, slay, I mean slay, the like button. Yeah. Hey, so I was looking in the countries. Uh-huh. Um, I read, I put a red dot on the ones are in this part. In this, um, from here to the left. So what we're doing right now is we're on here looking at the carnet de passage, which is like the passport for the car. Now, luckily, my shipping, my shipper, Comet Transport, out in LA has been phenomenal to work with. They are handling all of this, but they have gotten me a list of a hundred countries which we have to go through. Senior camera's working on this logistics because it's just a map with all these dots and then a list of countries. And what we need to figure out is on that map of dots where we actually intend to go and not to go. So basically I've drawn a line in the sand basically from Greenward South. And anything in North and South America, I'm going ahead and I'm crossing it off the list and we will not pay for a carnet de passage for those areas. And all of the areas in Europe, Africa, down to Australia, into Asia, Russia, etc. We'll just go ahead and pay for the carnet. We have, it's like a foil paper thing. It's like a whole binder. We'll probably get it laminated, maybe get some copies. It is Wednesday. We're trying to get on the road Friday. We have to be at the customs port in LA on Monday at noon, Thursday night, we're going to be filming at LAX. Friday, the plane ships out. Saturday morning, we ship out. We're gonna to try to then also see if we can push our flights to Friday morning, assuming we can get all of the filming and access done on Thursday night at LAX. So about two months ago, I came up with the grand idea of shipping this car on a plane to Europe. I went through, got some different quotes from different carriers, and talked to container shipping companies, and then it involves shipping insurance and all that. And the shipping insurance on a car such as a Lamborghini Urus is about six, $7,000 to insure it from port to port. The biggest thing for me is the car is replaceable with insurance, sure. No problem. But I am literally putting my own blood, sweat, and tears and bruises. I've literally like bruised my little bone on my foot here a month and a half ago on this aluminum build out of the Campagini. So I've got hundreds, if not thousands, of hours in this build out. I don't want to lose the car to some stupid boating accident or someone smashing a container into it. I believe it is way safer to travel via air. I want my car on a palletized rack, on a plane, going direct from port to port. The car is going to leave from LAX and fly directly to Leipzig, Germany. I have to drive it to LA. You gotta pay a little more, but you just put it on an airplane and it's just secure. Now, for the last month, maybe month and a half, we've been pushing back and pushing back and pushing back the trip because we've been waiting for the official approvals to go and film the car going on the plane at LAX airport. Now, as of about three weeks ago, we got the permission from the manager of LAX, but we didn't have permission from the shipper. I have corresponded with Comet and I thank them so dearly for all of their help. But my hope is that in this video, you guys, after all of that work, get to enjoy a Lamborghini getting thrown on an airplane and shipped off to Europe. And we're gonna catch it on film. That's the idea, that's the hope, that's what we're planning, that's the mission. So if you guys like this, hit the subscribe button down below, hit us with the like button, hit us with a comment, thanks, wow, awesome, whatever it is, if you got a cool idea, let us know. And if you do wanna collab on something, we've got an email down below there for that as well, and hit the notification bell. This is all of the stuff we have to load up in the Lambo from here all the way to here. It's all stuff that we think we need for the trip but we're not sure. So, here's the situation. We've got to finish TIG welding the battery tray for the Lambo, and we gotta pull the platform out, drop the battery tray in, drop the batteries in. Then, we gotta weld the little slidey thing as well, the bed frame. Then we can throw the stuff in. However, we're here. We're trying to go towards Grand Junction. My buddy's shop that's got the TIG welder is in Golden. I will go weld the thing, load everything into the Lambo, 
and then get on the road. Cue the time lapse. Let's load it up. Look at all of this crap we got loaded in this car. It is absolutely full. Back here, what we've got going on is we're missing the drawer because it's sitting on my friend's welding table where the power was dead. We got the battery tray in. It's sort of in there. It's not welded together, so hopefully it doesn't crack on this drive over. And then underneath this, hopefully we can fit the two toolboxes. But my umbrella, solar panels, Starlink mount and Starlink. All the two bags full of all the gear that needs to be installed in the cars. Got my organic girl spinach, cooler, map, little tray, ski gear. Then we can wrap around the side here, show the rest of the goods. Now where I'm gonna sleep, we have temporarily spare tire, senior cameras bag, camera gear, extra bag of ski gear, dirty clothes, computer, and senior cameras food. Now that all has to move out in order for me to be able to dwell in here, including what you can't see in between is a huge army duffel bag that's got all the air mattress, sleeping bag, my yoga mat, etc. So we did fit the Lifesaver water tank, which means we need to order new filters. Luckily those come from the United Kingdom, so we won't have an issue getting those in Europe. I've got all of my cooking gear, extra cans of food, etc. more cooking stuff, dress clothes. So that's the situation. We got everything loaded in. We're able to make it fit. It's not too bad. It's, uh, it's tight, but it's in there. So we're gonna get on the road, head over to my friend's house. Unfortunately, it looks like the power is still out. She just texted me and said, oh, power just went back on, yippee. Look at that. So we are going to head over there. Perfect timing. We are literally pulling out of my parking lot now. Let's get in the car, let's go. All right, here we go, senior camera. You excited? It's a hell of two days. Well, we're not really on the road yet. <laughs> Might have to put up a little wall right here. <laughs> so we don't kill each other. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you, man. I'm not a racist. He says that now. That means we get to take a little nap. Now this is the fun part of the road trip when you're stuck behind a state patrol for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And, miles. and at least this state patrol seems to be speeding about five miles an hour above the speed limit. in 
no man's land. This is the demilitarization zone. And we're passing into Utah, baby! So here's the deal. I needed another key because I only got it with one key. I wanted to have a backup key, especially when we're taking it over to Europe. And the first key is already kind of finicky and weird anyway. I ordered another key here from Lamborghini Las Vegas. Lamborghini Las Vegas, they are the best. They have the cheapest parts for Audi. They have the cheapest parts for Lambo. Anywhere in the US, if you need Audi or Lambo, factory parts, somehow, someway, they're the cheapest. They also seem to be the cheapest for service. And the quality's really good, and they respond, and they ship things fast, except they ship the new key to my office. I released my office out. The new tenant didn't sign for it. It went returned to sender here. Instead of having them resend it, I was like, screw it, we'll just pick it up on the way. But because it's Sunday, no one's here, it's closed. But Ben, the Lamborghini service advisor here, is super nice, he knows about our whole situation, and he's gonna personally meet us here, hopefully, to hand us the keys so that we can get back on the road and get on our way to LAX. It's a four hour drive from here. Well, we have to stop at Lamborghini Beverly Hills tomorrow morning to actually have them program it, and la 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 la. But that's the situation. So let's go look at some cars while we wait for them. It really looks bad. I don't like the white. So glad I didn't get white. That's a cool color, this Audi matte black. This little TT over here. Mm. I do like that color. How's it drive? Oh, it's good. It's long. Yeah. We left at like 11.30 last night. Nice. My daughter Adeline. How's it going? Can you say hi? <laughs> Thanks so, again. It's a stop at the factory in Italy. Right. Yeah. You can head on in. Okay. We're gonna give you a shout out for helping us out after hours. So. No worries. For it's sure. a day in the life, my friend. Yeah. Especially in this town. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So you got the blade and the key there. Just needs programmed. So the blade will work. Yeah, the blade will open and close. But the then door. the key just needs the, the program. I've got the Starlink I need to finish mounting and all that. It's not 100% done. Projects. Yeah. But this TV was just around some video in Colorado. <laughs> and like, so we put on the screen yeah. and it was like, messages we could type yeah so in traffic we'd be like you know there'd be somebody in the left lane blocking the whole thing up and we'd pull in front of them be like get out of the left lane grandma <laughs> for passing only so there's a little hose back there that can cause basically a vacuum leak on the intake mm. so what you do is you pop this off pop this off okay and then this plastic trim comes off right and there's like a little hose it's like a little j it's got a little check valve in it okay, okay. so the plastic inside of it degrades and could cause a vacuum leak, which okay. that'll cause a rough idle and check engine only. And it's like a hundred dollar part. Gotcha. <laughs> Good luck. Well, appreciate Safe it. Travels. Thanks so much yeah. for all the help. More than happy to. And you know, I'm only a phone call away. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. in Vegas with Harapo and I am here from the six-wheel garage what's crazier the fact that we got this TV mounted on the back of the Lamborghini ripping around downtown on the strip or the fact that these guys ripped the exhaust off and straight pipe their rental car I don't know it's all pretty crazy be sure to check it out videos will be coming up soon of the straight pipe Durango well self-made rental car straight pipe Durango of course check out the Lamborghini Euros with the TV mounted back we will be going to Germany. Germany. We're flying this car one week from today to Germany. We've got the fridge mounted in the back, full sleeping platform, all our camping gear, all of that. I'm going homeless inside of the Lamborghini in Europe. This is going to be sick. And we are going to rev this one. The Rango, it's 5.7 liter V8 straight pipe, so be sure to cover your ears. My cameraman needs to give me the keys. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm glad I don't own the rental company that uh, rented this. Are you ready, guys? Alrighty, well, we'll see you in Germany. California! We are in California. We are three hours away from Beverly Hills Lamborghini where we might just camp out at Beverly Hills Lamborghini with the tent and the me and the Urus. And why not? Sure, that could be interesting actually. That's a good idea. We'll see where we end up. How tired we get. Not sure why I really need the pan. It's hot enough here with the sun. Just cook it by sticking it outside. <clears throat> this food probably doesn't look good. It's like a porridge. <laughs> but it tastes good. It tastes good, look bad. Really bad. Looks really bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay. Look at that guy. Looks like here's your coolest station. Holy shit! Holy shit! What the hell? 550 a gallon? This can't be right. What? Unleaded premium, 589? Welcome to the Republic of California. We just filled up in Utah for like 380. It's freaking hot. It's almost to the top of that scale. It's not quite to the top, but it's getting there. Let's get back on the highway. Roll into Death Valley. It's 10 a.m. Car's supposed to be in LA. Well, we're not even gonna arrive till one. <laughs> Look how hot it is, 42 degrees centigrade right now. It's only getting hotter. The tires are hot. I'm hot. And here's freaking Muhammad calling, wondering where the hell we are with the car. And um, now we have to tell him we're gonna be a little bit late. Hey Muhammad, how's it going? Hey Connor, how are you doing? Good. Are you uh, in LA already? We are on our way. Uh, we just got into California. We're like four hours out or something like that. We got to get it in as early as possible or else today won't even count. Uh, so gotcha. we're really pushing it uh, to get a delivery done. All right. We'll see you soon. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. At any rate, we are going to Lamborghini Beverly Hills and we are going to have them program this extra key and hopefully they can fix the license plate where it's super janky and about to fall off, assuming that the license plate's still on the car when we get there because it's like rattling and rattling and rattling. All right, here's the deal guys. So we are at the LAX airport, just texted the shipper, and he said that we need to drop the car off at 2.30. It is currently 12.53. Now, I think we're gonna completely forgo taking the key to get it programmed. However, this key where they just put a new battery in it last night at Lamborghini Las Vegas, the battery is not working. I don't know, maybe it's sideways in there. We can try to pop the cover off when we get somewhere but we can't even lock and unlock the car with the key. So that's a whole other shit show right now. But we've gotta go pick up the rental car, drive, it's like 10 minutes hopefully from here, according to GPS, to the Home Depot. We're gonna go into the parking lot, transfer everything from the Lambo to the rental SUV. Hopefully we get a big SUV too. Then we've got to secure down the battery tray because we welded that late was it Sunday night? Saturday night? I don't even know. Saturday night. 
and then we'll see where we're at with the time because I really would like to go meet Muhammad. He probably is expecting us to like show up a little bit early to be able to like look at some of the stuff in the back of the car to see what can stay and what can't. I don't know. But let's try to find where the rental car place is. And I don't see, is it straight ahead or did we just go to the wrong place? Well, we are here at the Home Depot. We're supposed to meet him negative three minutes ago. And uh, we gotta go drop this so that we can get on the plane. I'm dropping it and I smell it. But let's go. We got this thing mounted in. The battery's secured down with the rubber so that they're not gonna fly off in transit and spark a fire up in the plane. So we don't want that. So we gotta go meet these guys. Follow me, hurry up, let's drive, let's go. So the other battery wasn't working. Oh my god, this battery is working. How's it going? Nice to meet you. You're crazy. Yeah, Mohammed, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, okay, let's take a look at, uh, yeah, check yeah. out your, uh, Gear so we could. So, well, let me show you what I have in here and then just kind of look. So, what I've got is you know, I've got this fridge that's in here. Yeah, that one's it's on a tray. And then, you know, I've got like this drawer. So, what can we put inside without having it like, is this come out? So, the drawer? Yeah. yeah. But I've got like some stuff in here, but Already. it's loose. What do you need to put in? What I, and then I've got space under here. Because what I'd like to throw in there is like all the spare parts that I'm going to install on the car in a yeah. bag. Yeah, let's do that. But nothing can be like out. You know, yeah, because it definitely what ends up happening is when when you know there's turbulence, right? So you have to allot for a little bit of uh, movement, and a lot of times they don't want you know cargo something damaging inside, and then you're like literally making a claim with them. So they want to be uh, respectful of that, and also. You know, they have load masters that are making sure the plane is balanced. Right. You know, a lot of times people think that you could throw stuff, but you don't want, you know, what they're, uh, they'll weigh it and everything like that, but they just want to make sure that everything's secure. Yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, how, how long do you need? Because they might be ready for us shortly. Can you give me like 10 minutes? Sure. Yeah. And I, what I'll do is real quick, I'll do a, a quick check of the car, uh -huh. just a condition report for ours okay. side, so we just know that, hey, whatever is, uh, the car that came in, we right. want to receive Dirty. it on that end. The car will be loaded plane side. Right. And what they do is they either will open up the the nose, but this car is small enough to be able to, it's going to go on a sheet. Right. And then what they do is once they strap it down on the sheet, that's how the car moves What kind of plane is it going to go on? Uh, it's going to be a DHL plane. Unfortunately, there's not one here. There yeah. might be one on the there other side. There was one on the other side. Yeah, yeah so there'll be one, and it's basically going on a plane like that. You, we'll be able to kind of watch it get loaded, okay. and then they position it because there's, Cargo plane is basically gutted out with no, nothing but rollers on the right. bottom. So they'll move it, you know, shift it in, lock it in position, okay. and then, you know, we say bye. And will we be able to end. go in the plane at all and like film, or you can't really go in? We'll, we'll try to, we'll try to facilitate. Yeah. You know, we want to try to get as much footage as we can. So we right. have their blessing. Right. We have the cargo guys, and I've told them, hey, allow us the opportunity to go as close as we can. They, you know, uh, we'll see what happens in terms of what the authorities are. So. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna submit the car. This is the ground handling for DHL Aviation, and what ends up happening totally is that at this point, once we sign off on the car, they'll do a quick check. You have no access to the car, neither we, nobody, right. only customs. We have all our food in here. Yeah, we'll definitely follow you. Yeah, trip. Okay. 
just uh, keep our numbers. I mean, we'll try to troubleshoot as much as we can. Yeah. You know, try to make it smooth, but you, you should be good uh, until you get to maybe possibly Africa or something like that. Right. Yeah, we might be a little limited there, but you'll be good. You're a smart dude. Yeah, we'll see. You want to say your goodbyes? Okay. <laughs> to your baby? Bye bye. Yeah. You'll so, see it on the other see side. Soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Well, so the, the thing is, it's difficult, like most people don't, even at like detail shops, know how to put it in gear. So should we put like a little sticker or something in there? So um, I think they do Lambos, but if not, oh, you can do that. You could do that. Write it out like real quick. Little, you have a piece of paper? I'll get you one real okay. quick. Yeah. This is to put in gear once yep. it's started. Yeah. This will go into reverse. Okay. That's park. Okay. And then how do you start? This is parking brake. So the start, foot, lift that up. That's good. That's good. Bye bye. There goes the car. We'll see it in a few days. Put it on a plane. Stay tuned. And then they're aware also about asking if they do capture some video. We'll blur out all the tail numbers. Yeah, yeah, no tail numbers. Uh, they, they cannot film inside yeah, so the, the warehouse. You're okay with being on camera, right? Okay, because he's getting a photo of Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> okay to go on YouTube? <laughs> Remember, I'm not cheap. <laughs> he's no cheap, guys. He's expensive. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Rigo. Hey, appreciate anything, it. Anything, anything. Right. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you. I appreciate we'll it. See you. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Same right. here. That's pretty freaking sweet that we were able to leave all of my ski gear and all of the tools in the back of the car. Unfortunately, in the mad panic to throw everything in there, I think I forgot to pull out one of my knives. So we're gonna have to hit Home Depot and buy one to be able to eat food. At any rate, this is definitely how I like get off. This is really cool. This is awesome. I love building buildings and like any more than anything on earth. I just love like building cool things, but this is really cool too. I'm so excited. But uh, yeah, no, I really love doing this kind of stuff, shipping, figuring out the logistics and like how this plane, we can get the car on it and get it over to Europe. And you know, it's just like, it's a mad dash, but it's like fun at the same time and absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys appreciate how much work and effort this is going into all of this, and expense. So I really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below, and hit the subscribe, notification bell, and tell all your friends about us, because we're gonna do crazier stuff if you stay tuned. Bye bye. I'm like a weird version of like, Hippie, but not hippie. And like, <laughs> hippie know. and safe, like reliable. Right. <laughs>to get like the rest of the electronics and all that hooked up. But it's to where is the where do the they have like country the list is on right in the front. Oh it's okay. yeah. Appreciate it. Nice to so meet we'll you guys in, in person. Nice to meet you. Good to see awesome. you. Love you. Thanks for everything. So we'll be in touch. So if you have yeah. any questions to, uh, during uh, from now until then, okay. ask. <laughs> no, we'll keep you posted. On. Okay. We are going to go get some food. We just finished meeting with Comet, dropping off the car, went to their office, reviewed the carnet. They said it's the record for the most countries anyone's ever requested on a carnet, so that's 
awesome. And yeah, so we're going to go now and find a grocery store, grill out in the parking lot of the grocery store, and then we're gonna find a gym to shower because I smell really nice right now. And we just <laughs> opened the window. <laughs> All right, we're here at Venice Beach in our shitty Chevy Blazer and the Lambo sitting, waiting for customs to clear it. In the meantime, we're gonna grill out on the beach, burn some propane, check out the nice sunset. Look at this, it's facing west. The sun will drop right there shortly. We have a beautiful sunset. We're all eating some weird canned mirage of things on the beach. And on Thursday night, we will go to the airport. We will film the car going onto the plane. Friday morning at 3 a.m. we will film the plane taking off. And then on Saturday morning, we will get on our flight and fly to Deutschland. And then we will pick up the car Monday morning, have a little adventure over the weekend in Germany. And uh, yeah, the rest will be history. I'm gonna eat my lunch slash dinner, and then we're gonna go to a gym and work out, do a little shower, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. All right, let's uh, see what we can do about this here turd. Seems reasonable. Let's go. Senior camera decided that I was wearing a bathing suit, first off. Senior camera decided that he was going to strip down completely nude on the beach here to take a shower when I'm just wearing a bathing suit. Uh, yeah, senior camera got some comments from a lady, and uh, we'll play that tape for you. <laughs> Look at him, I see a second, uh, naked ass. <laughs> I see a naked ass, good muscles. Good oh, yeah. ass. <laughs> approved, approved. Go? I like it, approved. Pick it up. Well, that's a bummer, man. I guess you didn't need the shower last night. <laughs> Señor Mojaro. Ah, what's up, guys? That's right. I am homeless right now in front of the beach in some Chevy rental car in Los Angeles, California. And Senior Camera is outside, pitched his tent. Right there he is. There you can see. Let's get out. I'm just waking up now. It is currently 6.25 in the morning. Now the unfortunate thing is, at 1 a.m., sprinkler came on. So it was a bit unfortunate. But we have until 7 a.m. to be here, until we have to move the car, because these signs say 7 a.m. for some reason. What's up, guys? All right, we are here in the Capital One Lounge in LA, in, what is it, Santa Monica, and I'm just working on the computer here. Got the senior camera over there charging all the batteries, getting everything done on the computer. I've got tenants that I'm trying to approve, trying to get insurance on the Lambo for Europe, both comprehensive and liability, and getting everything planned out over there. Last night was great for me, not so great for him with the whole sprinkler thing. But anyway, we're getting the work done. Gonna go get some food and get some parts ordered. 
Life goes on. Stay tuned. All right, today is the big day. So we've made sure to prepare for it by camping homeless in the back of the Hertz piece of shit rental car. Well, senior camera stayed in this tent right here and we've got a beautiful ocean view right here. So we've got to run down to Lamborghini, go check out the size for the stickers. We've got to run to the office, get everything prepared. Car's going on the plane, 3 a.m. tonight or tomorrow, whatever. And that's the plan for the day. And this guy over here just littered his cigarette right there. So if he leaves that there and doesn't pick it up, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe we'll just put a bunch of trash on his car because that's pretty gross. That heard us and picked up his cigarette and carried it down the beach. Lucky for him. Anyway, we are here homeless and we are going to clean up all of our mess because that's how we are, self-sustaining, leave no trace with our little homeless mission here. We gotta figure out what to do with this freaking tire. God dang ridiculous. Doesn't fit in the car. Okay. Here we go. What's it up? I'll buy the table. All right, that's how you ditch a tire at the Marriott Lobby Hertz. <laughs> that person's gonna get there. There's no one at the counter. They're gonna get there and be like, well, where the hell is this tire from and where did it come from? All right, the mission today is to hit Lamborghini and measure the locations on an Udis to see where we want the stickers to go and hopefully they will have a tape measure where we can measure out the exact widths and heights of these stickers so we can send it to the sticker shop so they can same day get it done here. Hello? George. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about yourself? Okay. Uh, just come back from the DHL. Uh, last attempt to make this happen. Opera management shut us down. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, sixwheelgarage.com. That's right, sixwheelgarage.com, where you can go and get exclusive merch. I've got new merch dropping all the time. Hats, bandanas, sweatshirts, t-shirts, pants, shorts. Maybe we're gonna put shoes. Maybe we're gonna have mugs. Maybe we're even gonna have band-aids of different sizes for your car, for your bumper in emergency situations. Maybe we'll even have band-aids for your fingers, for your brain, screws, bolts for when the screws are loose in your head. You don't know. Everything could be available soon. Sixwheelgarage.com. That is the number six wheel garage.com. That is the sponsor of this video. Great, awesome, exclusive merch coming out soon. And if you want to know more about it and be entered to win in certain raffles and giveaways that we have of merch, go to Instagram and TikTok where we also post daily stories exclusive that aren't on any other platforms. Thanks for watching Six Wheel Garage. Next time on Six Wheel Garage, I put my Lamborghini on an airplane or do I? Stay tuned to find out.